when the new supply runs out of gas. Oh, man. When the new supply runs out of gas. What does this mean for you? What does this mean to you? How do you know? There's a shortage of fuel. And not just the new supply, y'all. Let's 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 put the uh the tertiaries in here and the miscellaneous supplies. Oh, I forgot the secondary supply. Yeah, the ones that have all the fun with them. While the primary get the abuse, the ones that have all the fun with them, the ones that's waiting to be promoted. And the primary uh uh while the primary uh is devalued and ready to be demoted. Yeah. Because, you know, they have to fall back on somebody. Yeah, the new supply can't always keep the gas. Now, they can't keep the supply thing going on and have it going on and whatever, whatever. Everybody gets on to the narcs game, so they have to uh, demote and promote. They have to lay low and make some changes to themselves and, and, and gas try to gas up some more people, put some bullshit in the air, hope somebody buys it. Yeah, they put some bullshit on the on the uh on the on the they they put down some bullshit in hopes that somebody can pick it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so when the new supply ain't working out quite right, we got the tertiary supply. We have some family members that can give some supply. We got some kids that give it, some animals and pets that give it. Uh, but sometimes they, these people don't be acting right either. So we have some miscellaneous supply. Sometimes we reach out every now and again, every blue moon to this uh, other person. Every blue moon. Every blue moon. And this person may want something with you and want to have something with the narc. But the narc doesn't want anything with them just to fall back on them. Yeah, just to fall back on them here and there. Just pick them up when they need them, yeah. Kind of like they do with the primary supply, the one that gets all, all of the abuse. But what happens when the new supply runs out of gas? Oh, what happens then? I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> Narcs hate they love me. Going to tell you what happened. Y'all subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, you comment your experiences. If you want to be heard, if you can relate. Uh, if you feel comfortable with it, comment your experiences here on YouTube, you on my channel. All right, and y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Show me some support now. Show me some support because I done talked about this stuff backwards and forward, and sometimes I get down to where I can't give it to you no more. And I know it's people out there that's steady rejecting the the the, 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 the knowledge. It's, it's people out there that's still trying to heal. And they're healing with the same places where they've been hurt. And they're not understanding that they have to get away from that. They have to get away from that. It, it, even with the virus, the first thing they said do if you get the corona shit is to quarantine. You got to get away from what, what, uh, uh, what, what it is that's trying to kill you. You got to get away from it. All right? So I know I have all these different people that's on here that's looking at this and listening to me, and they wondering right now, what happens when a new supply runs out of fuel? I'm going to tell you what happens. <laughs> Narcs hate they love me, NHTLM, y'all, and I got to make you wait. <laughs> yeah, I got to make you wait. It's called game. Yeah, it's YouTube game. game. Everybody does it. Everybody. All right. But what do they do when they run when when the new supply is out of fuel? What happens? This is what happens. They appear on the internet with the new supply. Yeah, they appear in your email telling you that they know that they let a good thing go and they want to meet up with you. They, they just some of just some of them just want to talk to you. They just want to hear your voice. Cause hearing your voice is supply to them. You texting them here and there, just even if you text them and say, hey, I don't want to meet up with you, I have nothing to say with, to you, that's supply for them. Because they telling the, the new supply, they telling whoever it is that's involved with them that you still have feelings for them. You still like them. Yeah, you still want to be with them. They put everything on you. And you know they're delusional. And they do it so much. They put all this stuff on you. They say it. They speak it. And whatever they speak, it, 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 whatever you speak to, whatever anybody speak is going to manifest in this universe. So you might get yourself a good old Hoover. That's when you get your Hoovers. 
I ain't gonna even say Mike. That's when you get your Hoovers. When they can't find any fuel and they figure that they haven't talked to you in a while, they haven't seen you in a while, you have refueled in that time that they have stopped fooling with you. So when they come back, you done cooled off, you, you, you done refueled, now you're ready to meet them, you're on to their games and you're on to them, and you're ready to get right back in that cycle with them. What's the cycle? NHTLM. What's the cycle, y'all? Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. What's the cycle? Tell everybody what the cycle is. Love bomb devalue this car. Hoover. Hoover. Let me give you a chance to refuel. Let me let you cool off. I'll be right back. <laughs> and they go to posting online. And they go to talking is whatever this good relationship is and posting your kids and things with the new person. But yet they on your phone. Yet they calling you over and 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 over. And I can keep going over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Somebody's running short on fuel. Somebody needs some fuel because they can't get it where they currently are. And they can't survive without it. Oh. That's why you need to go no contact. I'm not telling you to because it's going to come a day to where you may feel like you don't want to do the no contact thing. But it's going to come a day to where you're going to feel like you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. It's going to get that bad. It's going to get that, that, that damn tough. You're going to feel like you don't have a choice. Because I'm going to tell you when they hoover... They only looking to reach out to you on their terms. They only want to want to talk to you on their terms. See, you won't be able to talk to them on yours because they got somebody else there. They have somebody else there, and that's somebody else, that new supply, that other person. They looking for the same signs. They looking for the same red flags that you picked up and you noticed. So they, there, uh, they are there to as assess the situation. And narcissists are not smart. They think they are. They're just conniving and manipulative, but they're not smart. See, once a person starts to operate from a place of wisdom, a narc can't keep up. Anybody toxic can't keep up because the vibration is too low. It's too low. So the new supply is picking up the, all the same red flags that you were picking up on. And let me tell you, too, I'm going to tell you, the 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 with this narcissist thing, if I would have started my channel five years ago, I'd have had way, 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 way more subscribers. I waited to start mine because I wasn't ready. I wasn't in a place with myself. I wasn't ready. But I'm telling you, these everybody's talking about narcissism. This market is saturated right now. It's to the point to where nobody's listening to the advice anymore because so many people, you can't get coaching sessions and things like you used to. Back then, you used, I used to could come on, drop one video, and have sessions backed up. Boom, 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 boom. Now, not so much. I mean, I still do sessions, but not so much. Because everybody's talking about this. The information is out here, so people are more informed now. They know what to look for. They know what to look for. And all narcs, it's like, it's like they go to one university, a narc university. They all do the same thing because they operate from the same spirit. I hope that makes sense to you. But you're going to get you a good old Hoover. You're going to get you some phone calls, some emails. You're going to get uh, somebody you know to, to tell you that they saw this picture online. and They saw the narc out there at the grocery store. They're going to be get, doing that kind of thing. They gonna go places that they know you go. They gonna hang out where they know you hang out. They gonna wanna be around your friends and call and check on your mom and them and all this kind of shit. This is how you know somebody's short on fuel and whatever they have over there in that corner and in that house and whatever they done moved in with is not doing the trick. Is not doing the trick. Is not bringing any fuel to them. And I'm narcs hate they love me, y'all. Yes, I am. I'm narcs hate they love me on TikTok. 
Narks HTLM on Instagram, Narks HTLM at gmail.com. The email will be in the video description. And this is for coaching purposes only. I leave you with peace. I leave you with love. I leave you with all the power in the world. And take care of yourself, all right? I love you. Peace.